Hello guys, Solitary Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Unlimited Fafnir. This was a horror anime that focused more on the fights and the plot. The characters in this anime were fighting against dragons. There are not that many harm scenes the girl was fighting over the main character. Yes, there are some scenes the girl was trying to get the main character's attention, but not that many in comparison to other harm shows. In terms of edgy scenes, there are barely any. There were a couple scenes where the main character accidentally grabs the girl's breast, but that is a very cliche edgy scene that has been way overdone and not funny to watch. Since this anime was focusing so much on the plot and the fight scenes, I was expecting to see great fight scenes, but I was really disappointed in the fight scenes. In this anime, dragons roam the earth and cause destruction throughout the world. Each dragon is very large and has special abilities like energy beams that destroy everything in its path. It is very difficult to bring these dragons down, even with powerful weapons. Girls called D have similar powers to dragons and have a symbol on their body. These girls have the power to bring down dragons and are sent to an all-girls academy called Midgar, where they learn how to use their powers. There is a situation, however, that when a particular dragon gets near a certain girl, then that girl will turn into a dragon as well. These dragons are searching for the mates. So, the characters have to be aware at all times that one of their friends may become a dragon as well. This conflict can be avoided by killing a dragon before it gets too near to a certain girl. But that's not an easy task. People with these special powers are usually girls, but now there's a guy with powers similar to a dragon as well. His name is Mononobe and now he's going to an all-girls academy in order to protect the world from dragons. I was very disappointed that Sammy didn't really have that many harm scenes. If I wanted to watch an anime with just great fight scenes and a plot, I would watch a battle show in anime series like Seven Deadly Sins. I would expect to see hot girls fighting for more than nobody's love and to see lots of nice edgy scenes. Samurai Girls was a horror anime series that focused a lot on the fight scenes and plot, but it still had very funny scenes for the girls fighting for the main character's love. In this anime, only two girls were really trying to get Mononobe's attention, and one of these two girls just wanted to be his friend. So really, only one girl in this anime was trying to date Mononobe, which was Lolly. I wanted to see all four girls in the harem actively try to date Mononobe, and all I got to see was one girl who really wanted him to be her husband. That just got me frustrated with this anime. So without any good harem scenes or etchy scenes, I was expecting to see amazing fight scenes, and I was in disbelief at how horrible these fight scenes were. These so-called dragons were animated using CGI and just look hideous to look at. Now I know why people hate CGI so much. Every time I had to look at these dragons during a fight scene, it made me want to stop watching this anime. The CGI was just that horrible and it makes me wonder if the anime studio just didn't have enough money in the budget or were they just as lazy. How could anyone say the CGI animation for the dragons was even okay to look at? These dragons didn't even look like dragons. They just look like the four monsters. I was expecting to see cool dragons, and all I got to see was hideous monsters in CGI animation. The one positive in the fight scenes was that in each fight scene, Mononobe and the girls had to make a good strategy in order to defeat the dragons. They didn't just go up to dragons and attack them directly. I liked how the characters made a plan to counter the dragons' attacks, and they were attacking in a well thought out formation. Unfortunately, even with great strategies being used during fights, the fights still ended up being really generic. At first, I was really intrigued by the girls creating weapons for using dark matter. But then it turns out the weapons were just shooting out energy blasts. So basically, characters just use energy blasts. I am so tired of seeing characters use energy blasts in fights. This has been done way too many times in anime. I want to see unique powers like quirks, stands, and net abilities. The ending to each fight was basically characters using energy blasts all together against a dragon. How boring. The strong point of this anime was the emotional scenes. It was very sad seeing some of the girls realize that they may become a dragon soon. They try to avoid this at all costs and some girls even think about taking their own life. It was very emotional to watch. It was also really sad seeing some characters think about killing a girl before she turns to a dragon. It was very depressing to see a character think about killing a friend. This anime lets us hear the character's thoughts. We also get to see their sad past. By doing this, this anime makes us care about the characters and want to see them have a happy ending. This may sound easy to do, but many anime series do a poor job at giving us information about characters and when they die, we just don't care about their deaths. This anime though, made sure to show sad moments in the characters lives, especially for Tyr. She had a really depressing life, and this anime made me feel so sad for her. I really wanted to see her be happy. I didn't like the characters that much in this anime. Mononobe was just a generic nice guy. Miski and Lisa were just generic Sunuri girls. I just don't understand what's so entertaining about seeing a Sunuri girl act the same way over and over. Iris was a nice girl and an airhead. I did like how she didn't realize 
how her words were getting more noble in trouble at times. That was funny to watch. Tear was enjoyable to watch because I did like how much of dear dear she was and how she was acting so loving towards Monobe. The issue was that she was a lolly and I don't like lollies that much. People who like lollies will obviously like her. The opening and ending for Sammy was great. They both had catchy songs. The music for Sammy was not that good. I can't even recall one great song and that is very disappointing considering Sammy had very emotional scenes at times. The image style looked good when the dragons weren't shown but the CGI for the dragons was just hideous. The image for Sammy was okay, but sometimes after a dramatic scene, or after a character said something important, there was just this awkward pause at times, where you're just waiting for characters to say something, or for that scene to end. Those awkward pauses were really weird. I can only recommend to watch this anime if you're really desperate to watch an anime where the main character is surrounded by girls. This anime had some nice emotional scenes at times, with the girls scared that they may become a dragon, or kill a friend who may become a dragon, but with the lack of harem scenes, with the lack of etchy scenes, the horrible CGI, and the generic fight scenes, this was one of the worst horror anime series I have ever seen. It was so bad that I had to take a break in between episodes. It was just that bad and boring. I'm giving this anime a 5 out of 10, only because of the very emotional scenes at times. So that's all I want to talk about for today. Thanks for watching this video, have a great day or night whoever you are, and please like and subscribe if you enjoy the video, and please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.